So, quick PSA about resharing political content on social media. Here is a Facebook post from a Bernie supporting friend. It says, this article makes a very strong argument that Joe Biden is sadly no longer fit for the job. And it links to some place called consortiumnews.com. I've never heard of consortiumnews.com, but I clicked on it. And I Googled it. Um, I don't know what mediabiasfactcheck.com is. I don't know if it's legit. But they seem to say that this website's legit. But if I start going into the sources they have here, like these YouTube videos. This one comes from a user, why the race card is played. Uh, this one from Candidate Research is a user. When I pop those open, they uh, are pretty unusual. Um, they only have videos that have been posted over a brief period of time and no other activity. This is why the race card is played. Um, Candidate Research, same thing. Just a bunch of videos of Joe Biden, all pretty much uploaded at the same time. Then no other activity. That's not how normal people behave. That's not how a real person behaves. Very shady. Um, essentially, when you have multiple different types of media, social media, web pages, and alternative news, for lack of a better word, linking together, it tends to drive up the rankings in Google and Bing searches and Facebook and so on. And so that's why they're doing this. They're basically gaming the system. Uh, if you want to read about all that stuff, the Senate has a whole report on it. it explains how it works. Also, Stanford has a cyber policy in center that has white paper or publications on how all this works. One other unfortunate note to make is that uh, Facebook, YouTube, all these companies aren't really set up for this watch. If I go to about and try and flag this channel, it's obviously fake report user. Um, it's not one of my options. And if I uh, hit none of these are your issue, it basically tells me too bad. So sad. So be careful when resharing.